Dream Wolf Story and Illustrations by Paul Goebel In the old days, the people traveled over the plains. They followed the great herds of buffalo. Every year when the berries were ripe, they would leave the plains and go up into the hills. They made camp in a valley where the berry bushes grow. Everyone picked great quantities. They mashed the berries into little cakes, which they dried in the sun. These they stored in painted bags for the winter. Tiblo was too young to play with the older boys. He and his little sister, Tongshi, had to go berry picking with their mother and the other women and children. Tiblo was soon tired of picking and too full to eat anymore. When nobody was looking, he slipped away with Tang Shi to climb the hills. They climbed up and up among the rocks and cedar trees where big horned sheep and bears live. Soon they could hardly hear the berry pickers laughing and calling to each other far below. Tiblo wanted to reach the top. They climbed on. They never noticed the sun starting to go down behind the hills. It was getting dark when Tiblo knew they had to go back home. In the twilight, every hill and valley looked the same. He did not know which way to go. He called out. Only the echoes answered him. They wandered on. Tiblo was lost. Darkness closed around them. It grew colder. They were tired and hungry, and Tank Shi began to cry. Speaking of happy things, Tiblo found a small cave among the rocks. They crawled inside to shelter for the night. The children were tired, and in a little while they fell asleep. Tiblo had a dream. He dreamed that a wolf with shining eyes entered the cave. In his dream, he felt the wolf's hot breath and its rough tongue licking his face. The wolf lay down beside him. His shaggy fur was like a blanket which kept Tiblo and Tank Shi warm. The sun was already shining into the mouth of the cave when Tiblo opened his eyes again. Tiblo woke up his sister. They crawled out of the cave into the warm sunshine. He took Tong Shi by the hand, and they set off walking down the hill. When the children came to a stream, they stopped to drink. Suddenly, Tiblo saw that a wolf was sitting on some rocks close by watching them. At once, he remembered his dream. Oh, wolf! Tiblo said. We are lost. Mother will be crying. Help us to find our way home again. The wolf panted and smiled. My children, do not worry. I will help you. Last night you slept in my den. Follow me now, and I will take you home. The wolf trotted off. He looked back to see that the children were following. From time to time, he trotted ahead out of sight, but he always returned. At last, the wolf led them to a hilltop. The children were filled with joy to see their home in the valley below. The wolf sat back on his haunches and smiled. And then he trotted off back toward the hills. The children begged him to come and live with them. No, the wolf called back. I like to wander from place to place with my friends. Listen for me in the evenings. You will hear me calling, and you will know that I never forget you. People in the camp saw the children coming down the hill. The men jumped onto their horses and galloped out to bring them home. Everyone was happy that the children were safe. T 
Tiblo told how the wolf had brought them home. Everyone walked into the hills to thank the wolf. They spread a blanket for him to sit on. They gave him necklaces and other beautiful gifts. There has been close kinship with the wolf people for as long as anyone can remember. That is what they say. The wolves are no longer heard calling in the evenings at berry picking time. Hunters have killed and driven them away with guns and traps and poisons. People say that the wolves will return when we, like Tiblo and Tonk Shi, have the wolves in our hearts and dreams again. <laughs> 